everyone, it's Angie the Craft NATO, and today we have an unboxing from the company DIY Chews. So I have unbagged from them before and I had really good luck um, with the things that I got. So let's get right back into it and see what we got today. So I'm going to start with this small item. It is an off canvas item and I'm super excited about this one. Um, I had something similar to it once before, and I wanted to try it again um, in a different pattern because it was quite a long time ago, and I think it was before anyone was really thinking about the holidays, but now we're into the end of October, and it's definitely time to get started with your holiday uh, gift preparations, so I ordered this one, and let's I'll just show you what it is. It is a diamond painted wine bag for uh, giving a bottle of wine as a gift. So it has, it's like a red uh, burlapy um, material, really nice, like a silky burlap. It has a drawstring at the top that you pull those tight um, onto the neck of the bottle of wine. And it's wide enough that you could fit a one of those probably one of those big bottles of wine in there if you wanted to and you know you wouldn't even have to use this for a bottle of wine if you wanted to use this for a kid to give a gift you know what I mean just like um you could put a put any kind of gifts in there use it kind of like a stocking even so um it's nice and big and it has this adorable reindeer on it with some snowflakes and it is going to be a special drill so or at least partly a special drill i haven't looked at all of them yet and it looks like this pattern it has this back black background that is not sticky but it's um definitely it's not like a piece of cardboard or something that's taped to the um bag it's actually print like adhered onto the bag it's like a oh how do I want to say almost like a rubbery consistent not rubbery but you know what I mean it's it's not it's not coming off it's it's right adhered onto the bag and it's really nice I really like that background so um it's nice and sticky I don't have a I think you'll have a oh shoot I never do that I put my cover down wrong side down that's bad covers are only one-sided so make sure if you lift your cover off you're putting it back down on the side that it came off or else it'll stick really badly like that just did um, luckily I only had a small portion on there but um, this does come with a standard toolkit everything you need to diamond paint it a pen a boat and a plate of wax and let's see what drills come with it to make this an adorable gift giving wrap. And these are really affordable too. So it's, I mean, it's like you're giving two gifts. If you give a bottle of wine in that um, bag, you know, they're definitely going to be able to reuse that bag. And it's decorative and adorable. And it's not, I mean, it's uh, not, not horribly expensive either. So it looks like we have some brown crystals, some lime green, some orange, some yellow. Then we have some plain white drills. Then we have some AB red resin drills. And then pink iridescent coated marquee and the gold foil covered marquee very pretty that's gonna look great 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 I'm super excited about that one so that was the first thing that I ordered let's see what else I got let me put these back in here so that I don't lose them I'll just stick that on top of there and set it off to the side for now let's get into the first actual canvas and see what I got Hopefully we've got a variety today. I don't remember everything that I ordered, so we'll have to see once we get there. And it looks like this first one is going to be a full drill, and it looks like I ordered a square drill kit. So I really like 
it when I am able to find square drill kits in these budget friendly um, from these budget friendly sites. This is a stiffer canvas, and we're gonna keep on with the holiday theme here. And I promise this is gonna be the last order that I have that I am going to be featuring gnomes. <laughs> you guys are probably sick to death of gnomes and I wouldn't blame you, but we have a gnome. And I think that this is the first time that I've had, in fact, I know it is, this is the first time that I've had a square drill diamond painting gnome. And so he's a holiday guy. He has 22 colors. Uh, the DMCs are listed on the canvas. The key is all letters. And we do have two keys, one on each side of the canvas, and it's a 30 by 40 square. The printing on here looks a little bit dark, but I'm looking at the drills and it's not going, the drill colors are not going to be quite that dark. It just looks like the drill field, um, the printing on the drill field might be just a little bit color saturated. The drill field is easy to read. I don't have any problems reading any of the symbols at all. And I do like that the background is not all one symbol. It's kind of shaded to where it's gonna be brightest right behind him and then fade out as you go to the edges of the painting. Really cute. My favorite kind of gnome with his eyes covered. I'm going to just peel this back and release this one crease here in the cover so if we can get this to lay a little bit more flat and while I've got this cover peel back I might as well check the stickiness this is an extremely like very sticky canvas so that's good you won't have any problem with sliding drills I always appreciate a heavy stick on a canvas we've got a standard tool kit and these drills come pre-bagged nice 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 so on the drill bags it does tell you the kit number, and then it also gives you the number that corresponds to the number on the key, and then it also gives you the DMC number right on the drill bags. So those of you that don't like to kit up into storage containers, this is one that you could work, if you're all kitted up, you could work right out of the bag, no problem. So what do we have for colors? These drills look excellent. They look really good, nice flat backs. Uh, I don't see any junk in there. I don't see any dustiness. Yeah, they look really nice. So we've got a mint green, a white, gray, blue, dark gray, burgundy, my favorite 814, beige, gray, 321 Christmas red, 154, that deep, deep purple, 150 red, 223 mauve, one, two, three more grays. Those are probably gonna be our mixed in our background. Uh, light, very light mauve. 823 dark blue, orange. I wonder where orange is going to go. That's interesting. 939 dark blue, 3814. I love this color, this aqua color. Very pretty. And very pretty blue color that's going to be in the presence. And a salmon color. That's probably going to be his nose, I'm thinking. If, if I had to guess, if I was a guessing girl, I'd say that was going to go in his nose. So you can tell by the colors that it's not going to come out as dark as what the printing on here kind of shows. It's going to be, it's going to be brighter than, than the, um, it's just the richness of the colors that they had when they printed the, uh, canvas and printed the colors behind the drill codes. So since it's a square diamond painting, it is going to, you're going to have full coverage. You know, every, every square millimeter of it is going to be covered by drills. So you're not going to have any gaps between your drills. So 
uh, you won't even be seeing any of that canvas once you have it drilled. So that is the first main canvas that I got. Let's move on and see what else I got. So how is everybody doing today? I'm doing great. You guys are probably seeing this while I am on vacation in Florida um, and recording this the day that I'm leaving, trying to get everything, trying to get everything done. So as I promised, this is going to be my last order with gnomes, but we have another gnome standard toolkit. And this is another square diamond painting. Um, I didn't remember that I ordered squares. I'm not, I, I'm great with it. Um, I, I like it when I can get a square diamond painting from a budget-friendly site because they're not as prevalent. Um, if you've ever ordered from budget-friendly, these budget-friendly sites, they, it's a little bit more difficult to find good images in a square. And this website seems to have DIY Choose, they do seem to have a really good selection of square diamond paintings. So if you're a person who likes squares and you're balling on a budget, you might want to check them out. So, oh, it is very, it's a stiffer canvas and um, I'm just going to pull this plastic back and see if I can get that to relax a little bit. And get it to lay a little bit more flat. I'm going to roll it this way just so you can see what it is with it being a square drill. Sometimes the image is not as easy, easy to discern from just the canvas as when you have a picture printed round drill. It's almost, you know, where they just take the picture and put the drill field on top of it. Kind of easier sometimes to discern those images, but with a square diamond painting, it's going to turn out beautiful. So this says Happy Thanksgiving, and we have this female gnome, very uncommon in the gnome world, female gnomes. So I had to be sure that I scooped her up. Um, and she's in the back of a truck, and she has her harvest um, next to her, her fall harvest. She's very cute. Again, this does look a little bit dark, but that's just because you're looking at the drill field you know what I mean? I don't think it's going to be that dark once we get the drills on. So definitely a mixture of colors in the background. No, no multi-placing whatsoever. The drill field is nice and clear. Um, but I'll show and I'll show you what I'm talking about with the background. It's going to be a nice blend of colors. So let's see what our colors are going to be. First, I'll test the stickiness of the canvas. We've got 22 colors. All alphabet for our codes. This is also a very, very sticky canvas. I'm very impressed with the stickiness of both of these canvases. And again, we have our pre-bagged drills and our drill bags also have the DMC numbers on them. So easy to kit up, easy to complete. Or no kitting up really necessary if you're gonna just work out of the baggies. So, we have a lot of white. So this must be our predominant background color. And then we have mauve, purple, very deep green, a lighter green, cream, yellow, peach, dark green, bright yellow, mustard yellow, orange, and this is kind of a burnt orange. This I think is my favorite DMC orange, it's 720. It's kind of a, kind of a, yeah, kind of a burnt orange. I really like that color. And again, these drills look really nice, nice flat backs on them. We have gray, a bit of 321 Christmas red, more gray, some tan, some bright gold yellow. Uh, I'd say this is like a skin tone. Some 815 cranberry or burgundy. Well, magenta-ish. You know what color 815 is. Very pale blush pink. Another dark green. 
and a orangish brown. And those are the fall colors that are going to be in this diamond painting. And you can tell by the brightness of the colors that it is going to, that image is just going to pop right off of that canvas. It's not going to be too dark at all. And I think that you're definitely going to be able to um, differentiate the different elements within the diamond painting. So no concerns there at all. And I've said it once and I'll say it again. I wonder how many diamond paintings I can get done in November. I am going to try my darndest to do a lot. <laughs> how many is a lot? I don't know. A lot. All right, let's get into the next item and see what we've got. All right, come out of there. I have to leave. It's now about noon. I'm leaving. I'm being picked up at 5 o'clock. I still haven't packed. Ah! Yeah, so I'm a procrastinator. Um, I don't know. I, I guess I just... I've been busy. I've been so busy crafting. I can't quit. And... This is a stiffer canvas. This is going to be a partial drill, special drill diamond painting. And this is gonna be a fun one. This is, again, holiday themed, because it's not too early. It's definitely not. It's getting into prime time. And this is one of those ever so popular uh, paper quilled designs. So it looks, it gives the, uh, um, illusion of being a paper quilled a paper quilled item but it's diamond painted it's a 30 by 40 it has 13 different drill types it's absolutely beautiful um the background is not it looks in the camera it looks like it's just a solid background but looking at it up close it's a little bit of like a barn wood looking background you can kind of see that if i get close up there um, so it's not just a solid white background. It'll look nice in a frame. Very nice. And I think that the, the starkness of the background is just going to make all of that stuff just pop off of there. So we've got the poinsettia and the swirls and a candle and the Christmas trees, snowflakes and bells with uh, some spruce uh, plumes. Plumes. You know what I meant. Branches. Standard toolkit. Let's get right into the drills and see what we've got for drills with this one. I'm excited to see these. 13 different kinds, and it looks like we have quite a few different shapes. So we're going to have some good variety in here, I have a feeling. So let's get into it. So we have some yellow crystals. Ooh, a lot of this lime green. I wonder where that's going to go. And then a whole bunch of this uh, regular green. There is really not that much drilling on here, and this there are a lot of drills in these bags. I think that we're going to have plenty of drills to complete this project, and then some. Then we have red, we have clear, we have yellow. Oh my! Then we have very large teardrop shape, but they're like an elongated teardrop emerald green faceted those are beautiful i wonder where those are going to go those are really pretty some very large pearl buttons some gold shards some smaller pearl buttons some gold marquee some red non-faceted globe buttons and some pearlized yellow buttons that is going to be absolutely beautiful. So there's a really good blend of different drill types in there that are it's really going to make all of those elements stand out. I really like that a lot. I'm excited to work on some of these um, holiday themed paper quill uh, paintings that I have. I haven't worked on many of them. I've only done a couple of the paper quills. Uh, type and I really do like the way they turn out. They really really look fantastic when they're completed All right, let's get to the next thing and see what we've got here And we're double wrapped 
that's okay. Just for protection. We're added, we got double protection. If I could get it out, now it's stuck to the back. I'm having all kinds of troubles today. Okay, this is another stiffer canvas. It's another partial drill, special drill. This toolkit does come with a pair of tweezers. So if you want to place those special drills with tweezers, they do include a pair of plastic tweezers in there for you. I'm just gonna roll this guy the opposite direction and see if I can get some of those major folds out so that it'll lie flat. And you guys can already see what it is, even though I tried to keep it a little bit hidden. I promise, I promise, I'm done with the gnomes. November is starting soon. I hope that you guys all will be joining in. It's going to be so much fun to just do something a little bit silly and whimsical and, and not too serious and, you know, not too involved. It's not going to be a, um, it's not going to be a, you know, huge projects to work on. It's just these fun little projects. So this is a partial 30 by 40 special drill of this cute little gnome. He's purple. He's holding, he's got bees buzzing around him giving a peace sign, holding a daisy, and he just looks so cute. I just thought, you know what, let's show something else. So you don't even have to work on a full drill diamond painting if you want to join in in November. Even something like this um, would definitely be uh, fine and encouraged. So whatever you have. And I really like the background on this one. It has kind of a watercolor swoosh of blue just kind of around him and there are some uh white snowflakes kind of in into the background there that look kind of cool so that's very cool everything's cool today did you notice that cool 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 i need to come up with better adjectives somebody send me a thesaurus stat just kidding i think i just have my mind on so much stuff today that I'm not having a lot of different descriptors. Wow, there are a lot of different drills with this and they're really nice looking. There are 14 different drill types. So let's take a look at them. We've got clear crystals. We've got like a dark brown crystal. Those are interesting. Purple, a deeper purple, and an even deeper purple. Green, yellow. Are those black? Yeah, those are black, but they're the black with the flashing on the back. Then we have some black ABs, some white non-faceted ABs, so they're like little miniature pearls. Then we have some, uh, oh, gold buttons, but they're faceted. Then we have some actual gold gold buttons, not just gold colored these are just, you know, gold colored rhinestone, but bigger. These are actual gold buttons. Then we have some teardrop shape iridescent coated clear crystals and some marquee shape iridescent coated clear crystals. And those are the 14 different drills that are going to go on to that particular gnome. And I love the purples. I don't have anything quite that color combination or color scheme. So I wanted to kind of get out of my comfort zone. I've been, uh, usually I get, you know, either fall or Christmas or valentine need type gnomes. And I thought, why don't I try something different and get, you know, that lavender and purple and, and see what that looks like. And I think he's going to look great. So what do you guys think? I think he's going to look uh, adorable. All right. So now let's get to the last item with this order. So I'm not keeping you guys here all day. The last item in this order is another off canvas item. It's sent in this box, which is nice because it um, will protect it against getting broken. So let's get in here and see what it is. This I am really excited for. I've been really wanting one of these. So in addition to being in a box, it's also in this bubble wrapped manila uh, mailing envelope. I'm just going to rip into that. That's sticky. 
rip into this and let's see what I got. Like I said, I've been super excited to try one of these. Oh wow, we've got a lot of stuff in here. So we've got a standard tool kit. We'll throw that off to the side and I'm gonna set this box off to the side. And let me just get out everything that's in there. Wow, this is big. This is really cool. All right, I love this. I am like, I'm like super happily surprised. This is really, really neat. So what this is, is this is your base and you diamond paint the base. You can see the, and it's resin. And this is, this sticks into the base, this Christmas tree. And it is diamond painted on both sides. It's covered in sticky and it has symbols on both sides. So this is something that's gonna be visible from either direction. So you can set it on a coffee table or, um, or your dining room table or a countertop or anywhere you like. This then, this, ba this then slides into this base. It's not going to right now because I've got the paper covering on, uh, the plastic covering on there, but it's gonna slide into the base and stand upright like that. Then you've got this uh, red cord and there's a hole in the end of this branch right here. You're gonna tie that cord onto there and you're gonna tie the other end onto this ornament that's going to hang from the tree. And he is also diamond painted on both sides and he is an adorable snowman. I think that this is awesome. I didn't, first of all, I didn't think it was gonna be this big. Second of all, I didn't think it was gonna be diamond painted on both sides and I didn't expect the base to be diamond painting, diamond painted. This is really a lot cooler than I thought it was gonna be. I'm super impressed with this. I'm really glad that I ordered this. So this would be an amazing gift and it's going to be a gift. A very dear friend of mine um, collects uh, snowmen and decorates her house in snowmen around the holiday. She leaves them out all winter. So I am going to make this for her. So this is gonna hang just like this and it's probably gonna twirl around a little bit. And isn't that gonna be beautiful? Can you imagine if you had like a candle sitting right here and the light from the candle flickered onto the um, crystal uh, drills that were on here. That's going to be amazing. I love it. Love it. Super big hit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you DIY Chews for sending me this one. I think that's really cool. So let's see what the drills are going to be. We're going to have a lot of drills because it's double sided and it is pretty big. Quite a bit of drilling to do on there. And Wow, I see something I've never seen before. This is interesting. I have never, this is a first for me. I have never ever seen this type of drill. We're gonna save them for less. I'm gonna set them off to the side there. We're gonna look at these ones first. So we have two packs of green. We have clear crystals. We have yellowish orange crystals. And then we have black. Uh, they're, they're, they have flashing on the back, but they're black. All right, then we have three bags of these limish green crystals, not really lime green, just a kind of a spruce, light spruce green. Then look at these. I don't even know how to describe them. They're orange, kind of semi-transparent drills. Tell me those are not the coolest thing you've ever seen. I can't believe I've never seen a drill like this. Have, has anybody else seen drills like this? Aren't those cool? So I wonder where those are gonna go. Those are A. Let's just take a look here, because I'm curious to see where those are gonna go. Okay, so they're gonna border the Christmas tree all the way around. So everywhere you see that yellow all along the border is going to be that semi-transparent drill. And also outlining these stars are also gonna be that semi-transparent drill. So it's gonna give the illusion of having lights on your Christmas tree is I think what the intention is. That's gonna look cool as heck. I really like that. So then we've got some foil covered gold marquee, some very large gold stars. Oh, those are gonna be so pretty in all those star shaped 
um, areas on the tree, aren't they? Those are going to be really cool. Then we have a whole bunch of gold buttons, some very large gold crystal marquee, and then some red crystals. Rounds out what we've got on this particular item. And I would say if you've seen these and you've wavered, I honestly expected it to be about mm, a quarter the size and I didn't expect it to be as cool as it is. I'm really, really impressed by this. If you had any kind of interest in ordering one of these, do it. Super cool. Super worth it. Um, not very expensive either. Uh, I mean, a very, very good price on it too, I thought. So that is all that I have for you guys today uh, for this unbagging. Be sure to um, check out the links in the description field for each of these items. And also, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to leave them in the comments section. I'll get back with you as soon as I can. And as always, thanks so much for watching and thanks for subscribing. Thanks for putting up with my gnome-tacular uh, experiences. I appreciate that. And I'm looking forward to seeing all of you in my next video. And I'll see you guys after vacation. All right. Have a safe week and I'll see you soon. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.